Imagine taking a pill, like four capsules twice a day for five days, and being able to really increase your chances of beating COVID if you contracted it, especially if you're in a high-risk group, if you're older, something like that. Well, there is now news from Merck, the first company to develop such a drug, a study that has yet to be peer-reviewed, but clearly looks good because it was stopped right in the middle of its work because they did not want to basically reduce the amount of time it could be used to help people or give people placebos that were not providing the protection that this particular drug gave. The drug is called Molnupiravir, big long name, but it is the first of what I hope to be many medications that can be game changers or at least start to change the game in the battle against COVID. Think about the flu. The way we fight the flu is to give people vaccines every year to try to fight the flu. Then what we do in cases where we get to it early enough, we try to give people medications and there are medications out there to fight the flu. They can help. Obviously, some people don't make it. About 36,000 people per year don't make it every year because of the flu. But if you could do the same thing with COVID, if you could continue to work with our vaccines, have great vaccines that pretty much are side effect free, get the public to take them and buy in, and then also have these medications available if necessary, it would be a game changer. So this particular drug, and I have to stress this, we don't know if this is going to be the end all, but we do know this. There were 750 people in the study, and it was done around the world. And of those 750 people, what they found is that about half of them had the medication, half of them did not, they had a placebo. Those that had the medications were 50% less likely to be hospitalized, and in those who received the medication, none of them died. That's big news if you're looking at high-risk groups. Again, this is early. We don't know the side effect profile. It was not tried in pregnant people. We have to find more things out. But the bottom line is, in a battle, basically a battle against time, and with about 700,000 deaths and climbing and 4 million deaths in the world, anything we can do to help is important. Now remember, we still have a major weapon. The safest and best thing we have are the vaccines. And I can't stress that enough. And that is the way to go to start this battle, but we're gonna need more steps eventually, and this will be helpful.